Hey guys, hey guys it's JC's Baby Mom Journey here. So, it is Monday the 7th, and, um, not really having the greatest day, um, not having a bad day, but I kind of feel like crap, and, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do everything that I originally wanted to do today, um, I have so much pain in my leg, why am I going to bother today to go over to the YMCA and get that membership when I can just do that later on this week? Um, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the back doctor's office because I've been trying to call but I can't seem to get through because doctors suck today. So I'm going to go over there because I'm right down the street from it, I'm not right down the street from it, but I'm the next town over. So. Um, I had to stop at my mom's house, get something, and then leave something for the shipping for tomorrow. So, um, I'm going to go and see if I can get an appointment, um, hopefully for this week or next week, um, because I'm in agony, like, at this point, and I don't want it to delay losing weight, gaining muscle, whatever. Um, if I had to wait, then I would because of a medical issue but that's what it is it's a medical issue that's a constant I mean I've been suffering with constant back pain for over 10 years and the back doesn't hurt too bad it's more the hip and the leg so I think it's just from so much just doing so much so I was going to try and wear my teeth today I put them in and the tops don't fit right they're actually too loose now and they're still is some pain in certain areas and I just didn't feel up to it today so I will try it again tomorrow and if I still can't do it tomorrow even if I'm at home and wearing them for a couple of hours here and a couple of hours there I would rather try and do that I'm in the comfort of my own home if they were painful I could take them out um, but um, definitely need to do that um, like I said, I wasn't really feeling up to doing anything. Didn't really feel like going out. Um, I wanted to pay my cell phone bill, but at this time, I don't even know if I feel up to doing that. Um, I decided that I do want to go over to Joanne's Fabrics. So I'm going to go and go to this doctor's office. Then I'm going to go to the post office. And then I'm going to go over to Joanne's and head home. So I think that's going to basically be my day. Um, and then that way I can do some some stuff at the house. So I want to get the nursery up and running. And I want to start getting products set up and situated and that kind of stuff too. So that's what I want to do this week. So anyways, I will. And you know what the thing is too is I know I really want to exercise. But I think I'm actually going to take this week and stay home for like three days. Um, I've been on the go, 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 so I think I might just stay home for a couple of days. Um, I can stretch, focus on stretching, um, do some, you know, crunches, do some, you know, um, like the plank, and I can do, you know, some push, you know, sit-ups and push-ups and stuff, but I think other than that, I shouldn't do too much more. Um, yes, I want to go to the gym, I enjoy going to the gym, but I'm in a lot of pain like a lot of pain and actually just driving is painful so yep that's my story so we are going to try and take it easy a little bit this week we're going to focus on making some product this week enjoy being home um I told Dennis when he passed away I said I'm not going to leave the house for three months that was my thing and I would love to do that but at the same token I know I, I need to do certain things to get things accomplished but maybe I will you know maybe I'll stay home for the rest of the week who knows like I, I I don't know like right now I don't know if it's a good idea going to the gym until I see the doctor so you know I don't mind going over there maybe possibly and just doing some stretching uh doing you know a light workout possibly but I think I need to be home for a couple of days and today I'm in so so much pain. I, I I couldn't even think about going to the gym today. Like it's not even happening. So, anyways, I'll talk to you guys in you know later and whatever. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I get home. Okay.
I'll see you then. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, let you know how my day's going. So, um, I went over to the doctor's office because I couldn't obviously call them and, um, made an appointment, got one for 8.30 in the morning on Wednesday. So not my ideal time to go, but I've been getting up about 8.30, so getting up an extra hour isn't really that big of a deal. I go to bed an hour earlier, right? So today's kind of a depressing day. It's kind of gloomy outside. My brain just feels all foggy and depressed. Um, I think just being in constant pain for a week has really done me in and knowing that I have so many more things to do. Tomorrow I'm actually going to leave, like stay home for the day. Um, I don't really have time to relax, which I don't want to have time to relax. I mean, I don't mind going in the shower and having my time there and having my time preparing my food and eating that. But after that, I need... I feel like I need to do something because there's so many things that need to be done. So what I like about it at home is I can at least pace myself and do what I need to do. But definitely feeling really sad today, very depressed. Um, you know, I struggle with suicidal thoughts on a daily basis. Um, I'm not a danger to myself or anybody else at this time. I have things to really like look forward to and obviously I remind myself that if you do anything or if your bipolar gets in the way then you're not going to be able to transition. I have no problem having a episode after my transition is completely over. I'm fine with that. I just don't want to do it before. Um, obviously I don't want to do it like right when I start tea. That would kind of suck. but. Um, I don't really want to, like, I'm not looking to be like, okay, I'm just going to wait until after I transition and then I'm just going to go crazy, but, um, I don't ever want to feel crazy like I, I did in the past ever again, but, um, yeah, I'm just in a really, I mean, I can't say I'm really in a dark place, I'm just, I'm not there, I'm not there, and I think that JC needs some therapy with her babies, and I'm not getting that that much, so we definitely need to do more baby stuff. That seems to what makes me happy. I was enjoying making that um, NICU bed last night, so I need to just work more and enjoy what I'm doing, and I do. I'm hoping this stuff will sell, so this week I'm really going to try and focus on my Etsy shop and get some stuff up and running now that we finally got the business cards redone which I'm actually really happy with I like how they came out I hope there's no mistakes on them this time because I made a mistake by my thing being too um I switched letters because I'm dyslexic so yeah that's what happened and the sucky part about the whole thing is I already made like um medical brochures for the um the insurance end of it like it's the fake baby insurance whatever and yes I misspelled my name on there too so it's do I continue and utilize those or do I have to remake them all over again and that is going to be an absolute pain in the neck so but uh I think maybe what I'll do is that once I get the whole medical end of the, that stuff, which is like paperwork, and you're gonna have like pharmacy stuff and the and you know different things, and then I'll let you guys kind of decide whether or not you think I should redo them or if they're fine just because there's a mis misprint on them. The problem about it being misprinted is that um, it's not my name; like my name's the other way around, and. Um, yeah, it's uh, kind of silly. And actually, Dennis brought it to my attention or I never would have caught it. Never would have caught it. So Dennis is like, you know that was spelt wrong, right? You know the T and the S is supposed to be the other way around, right? And I go, oh, Jesus. 
So, yep, it is what it is. So, right now, I am actually going to just scoot over to Star Market because their grapes are phenomenal. And I don't know what else I really want food wise. I'm not really up for making anything, but I would just have a chicken Caesar wrap if uh, I can't think of anything else, which sounds pretty good by now. And um, I usually have those like every other day. Uh, I think it's been like two days since I've had it. So it's just really preparing it. And um, I do enjoy them, so I should eat them. It's easier to eat junk food than it is to eat good food, so. But yeah, I am going to see you back at the house. Um, I did get a little surprise for Javian, so maybe I can try and coordinate a small little clip in there with him and him talking, so we'll try and see what we can do. Um, but I got him something really cute, and I think you guys might like it. It's something small. I got him at the dollar store, but... Um, I definitely want to do, like, a dollar store, um, like, um, review on their toys for the kids. So, like, I can actually go in there, videotape the toys, and just say, like, what I would buy, what I wouldn't buy, what's a waste of money, what's not a waste of money, stuff like that. So, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, buddy, I'm home. Hi. Did you give me anything at the store today? Matter of fact, I did. What'd you give me? What'd you give me? Well, let me see if I can find it. Can't wait to see what you got me. Okay, buddy, I found it. Oh, boy. What is it? Show me what it is. We're gonna have dinner first, and then you can play with it. How's that? Oh, good, cause cause I'm really hungry. Um, and I I can play with this after. Can you help me? Sure, I can help you. I'd be happy to help you with that. Well, we can watch Criminal Minds, right, JC? I, I want to watch Criminal Minds with you tonight. Yes, we can watch Criminal Minds. I'm gonna go cook dinner, okay? I I have Criminal Minds on. So, are you content now? I love Criminal Minds, and thank you for the puzzle, JC. I really like it. Hey guys, so I am back at home. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, me putting Javian in the video. I am actually tired, so I'm not going to um, make us both a dinner. Um, I haven't even decided if what I was going to have for dinner, if I'm going to still have that. I'm probably just going to make a salad. Um, I was going to have fish, and you know what? I'm going to save the fish for tomorrow, and I will eat that tomorrow when I'm more alert, awake, and all that stuff. Like, I'm just really tired, I'm going to relax with him. Um, I will definitely show you him playing with his new toy he got. Um, but... I'm just going to, you know, kind of relax and kind of try and do some more work if I can. I'd really like to tackle the be the, the back room, but I also want to tackle that little uh, cabinet there, so I need to kind of go through some stuff. And tomorrow I might work on the ba on the baby's room, like all day, so we can get this um, up and running. So, um... Wednesday I have a doctor's appointment at 8:30 in the morning and I think literally like the things I didn't do today I'll do tomorrow I'll do on Wednesday which is um the paying for the the phone bill and um what else so it's the phone bill and I'll go over to the YMCA and I think I'd rather do it like in the morning after camp gets brought in and stuff so by the time I'm done with the doctors and I go over to um you know the phone bill pay the phone bill and then um head back it would probably be after like nine ten o'clock so that'll be good and then I'd like to find out like what kind of things they offer 
um, different classes and stuff and hopefully I can find see that's my thing I, I kind of feel like I should go to the North Attleboro one not the Foxboro one because they're a bigger YMCA so maybe they have a little bit more to offer um, definitely want to go to both of them but my thing is is like I'm a little concerned about transitioning and being in places like these and they're actually witnessing the transition um, so I don't know I mean I, I don't really think I'm gonna care that much I'm just gonna go where I feel comfortable and um, yeah that's really it like I'd love to be able to play basketball again um, it'll probably end up being by myself but I should definitely um, you know I'm sure that the YMCA oh, actually there's another place down the street um, oh it's not down the street from me now but um, in the town we used to live there's a batting cage and a and they have a basketball court and sometimes I could be like hey listen like I should actually find out like what they have to offer because they have like a gym there and they have like all kinds of stuff there and stuff so I don't know so anyways we got this today we got this today we got this watch in the mail I don't know if I'm gonna like it though and it came with these and then um we got the doll and we got more of this I know it's really expensive but it's definitely worth it because it gives that realism to um, the baby's uh, NICU beds and stuff so th that fabric will also be on the smaller ones as well um, I just think it's a very important piece to the product um, and I got this because I'm hoping that I can try and um, learn how to sculpt I want to see how I do I would love to be able to turn it into a silicone um, if possible so I want to start small um, I'm thinking anywhere between like a three to six inch baby and um, you know maybe an eight only because that might be just a tiny bit easier just because of the size um, and that's really it that's all I gotta talk about with that right now um, tonight um, we are gonna try and do some more work but we also want to make a miniature version of that hospital bed and that hospital bed's not done yet I still gotta get the lighting for it and um which I haven't decided if I wanted to put I, I know I really would like to put it on the top but the top is kind of it, it's kind of bent a little bit like it's not bent on person if I've made it again I would like to put like a piece of wood going straight and then putting this piece on top of it but it didn't come out too bad. I really liked it actually how I was surprised what I made. So yeah. But anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to wrap it up for the night. And that is really it guys. We are going to sit here and watch Criminal Minds. We are going to do some work. And there's a lot of work to do. And it's stressing me out. But on Wednesday after all that stuff that I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here for the rest of the day. Um, I think what might end up happening, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I can tell you right now, most likely we're going to end up doing physical therapy. And I'm hoping that it can be like twice a week or three times a week. Um, because I think the more education that I can get and the more training that I can teach myself, like I want to let them know, like I'm in a gym, this is what I am, I'm, I'm trying to transition, this is what I want to do. And this is holding me back and what can I do and if I go to physical therapy they can try to help me to stay away from certain things and to be you know to, to do this versus that and to do this exercise instead of this exercise and you know they might say hey do more swimming because it's swimming's a little easier on your body and stuff like that so so um, that's really it guys, so I hope you guys have a good night. I'm going to make myself something to eat, and I hope you guys have a good night.
you guys enjoy your evening. I'm going to try and enjoy mine. Today's kind of been a uh, kind of a day. Hey, this is what the fabric looks like. I had to get it. It doesn't have green in it, and I liked it, and yeah, it's really cute. So, um, I also have another idea about something um, that I would be making and putting with products. So, something gave me an idea, and I want to try it. And I would like to make it out of, like, baby clothing, um, only because it's, um, I think that would be kind of cute. So it would have to be, like, something that would, like, match. So it would be kind of like a matching set kind of thing. So, um, really hoping that I can figure that out because I think that would be really cute. And, um, yeah, that's really it. So you guys have a good night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I will see you guys back here the next time.